It's the Blue Hens of Delaware on the road taking on the Wildcats of New Hampshire. So on second down, he's got him out there and a couple of receivers to choose from near side. He's looking that way. Blitz picked up and the throw right there. First down, yardage inside the 30 to Mark Duncan. Longest field goal attempt of the year so far. He's hit all five of his attempts, but all of them have been under 30 yards. And he bangs that one right on through. Now on play action. Santos looking deep down the field. And complete to the 25 and inside. He finds Mike Boyle. And he made him pay. He reads, reacts, and improvises as well as anybody you're going to see. Still with the ball in his hands, and it's in trouble. But they didn't keep contain. And Santos is into the end zone. Touchdown! Well, expert, I don't think anything other than unseasonably very warm temperatures here in New Hampshire for the first weekend in October. Santos, they didn't contain him again, and he is dangerous out there. Inside the 30, and down to the 20 before Bratton finally takes him down. So a pickup of 27 yards. Again, you saw they didn't get the contain. He went to the outside and then back in again. Santos a little bit slow to get up. That's unusual. You don't see that. Santos is hurt. Third down. Got to get it to the 10. Tillman throwing up over the top. It's there. Oh, my. Down to the one-yard line. Scott Sicko, a leaping catch. Late add onto the field for New Hampshire, as you saw. Negrin coming in. Didn't matter. Touchdown. For the end of the first half. Look at this. This is a throw. Wide open. It's right there. Nobody's home. Touchdown. Levan to Boyle on the gadget play. 45 yards for the score. And New Hampshire is rolling here late in the first half. That's what they're trying to do. Coming from 18 points down at halftime. And Aaron Love right there in stride. Great timing pattern out to the 49 for a first down. They are inside the 10-yard line, second down from the 8. Cuff, right through the middle and into the end zone for a touchdown. <laughs> First down from the 35, Flacco. Again, where are you going to put the ball? And now Cuff puts it on the floor. And it's recovered by New Hampshire. Oh, my. Now New Hampshire the opportunity. Tolman has time. Going up top for it all. And it is there. For the touchdown! Keith LeVan got the foot in and crossed the goal line. I also like the New Hampshire band. They just played Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Like that song, don't you? Yes. Toman, great escape ability. And now throw it downfield. He's got him! Touchdown! Welcome to this show, R.J. Toman. What a tremendous job by the redshirt freshman as he finds LeVan for the second time here in the third quarter. It's a 34-10 game. On second down, four receivers going out for Flacco, and right there, down the middle of the field is Baker, the tight end. There's the home run ball you're waiting for. 55 yards on the score, right down the seam, and Delaware takes the first step and try to get back. A little different look defensively now for New Hampshire. Flacco might have something, and he does. It's Love complete inside the 25. 35-17, Delaware on the move. Trying to keep this game alive with 3.49 left to go. Flacco chased out of the pocket, and there is Cuff with blockers in front of him. Look out. Inside the 10, he's going to go. Touchdown. 31 yards on the score with 3.41 left to go. And all of a sudden... Delaware has him in their sights. The question is, do they have enough time? Flacco has time again, and a receiver, Rashad, down to the one-yard line. Everybody expects it to go to Omar Cuff. It does. Pushing his way toward the end zone. Touchdown. 133 to go. 
The comeback continues here at New Hampshire. Which way is Delaware going to go with the onside kick as they try to stay alive in this incredible comeback attempt? And they're coming to the far side. Fair catch called for and taken. 35-30, to 30, the final score as New Hampshire wins it here this afternoon. Follow all the action of CAA football online at caasports.com.